All right, uh, uh, let's look at the homework 5.2, uh, problem number 9. All right, so we want to find the equation uh, of the function f uh, given the derivative and the point that it goes through. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, since the derivative is given, uh, we can take the antiderivative to go back to the original function f of x. So this is going to be an integral. Uh, x times square root of 9 minus x squared uh, with respect to x. All right. I'm going to use a substitution here. I'm going to let um, u be uh, the expression inside the square root. All right. So here you have a 9 minus x squared. All right. Then uh, let's um, make sure that this is the uh, you know the, a good choice of u. If you take the derivative of this, you're going to get negative 2x, and you can see that uh, there's a x is sitting there, so it's a good sign, right? So uh, let's take the derivative. Uh, du over dx is equal to, right? It's going to be negative 2x. And the first step is uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. We have dx over du, which is equal to 1 over negative 2x. All right, then we can multiply through by du so that the dx is the equivalent to du over negative 2x. All right. So this integral can be rewritten as integral. So I'm going to leave x as it is for now. All right? Then you have a square root of, and uh, we decided to call that guy u. And dx is equivalent to du over negative 2x. Right? So we can cancel uh, x on top and uh, x on the bottom. And then we have a number here, uh, negative uh, 1 half. Right, so we can place it right in front. Right, so by cleaning it up, we get, uh, let's see, so you're going to have a negative one half in front and an integral sign. I don't like square roots, so I'm going to write it as a one half power. Right, then with respect to u. All right, so by using the power rule, we can find the antiderivative. So add 1 to the power. So you're going to add 1, so it's going to be a 3 halves. Divide by 3 halves is equivalent to multiply by 2 thirds. So I'm going to just put the 2 thirds in front. And then you have a plus some unknown constant c. All right, so we're going to clean up uh, here. Uh, there's a 2 on top and 2 on the bottom. We can cancel out. So we're going to have a negative uh, one third. Right? I'm going to put the original expression back in, which was a 9 minus x squared. And then you have a 3 halves power plus some constant c. All right? Then since uh, this tells you that uh, we have to go through 0, comma, uh, 2, 2 thirds, so we know that uh, f of 0 has to be equal to 2 thirds. Right? Let's use that to find c. So f of 0, according to the formula, so you have a negative 1 third, so that was there. Right? So if you, if you put 0 there, you have a 9. So 9, then you have a 1 half power, square root of 9 is 3. And uh, you have a 3 cubed. So it's going to be multiplied by 3 cubed, right? or 27. Right? Uh, plus some constant c. And we can cancel uh, one of the three here. So that becomes uh, squared instead of cubed. And then you're going to get uh, this. This is going to be negative. Uh, 3 squared is 9 plus c. Right? So this is equal to 2 thirds. Right? So we can find the c value by adding 9 to both sides. So you have a, a c is equal to... Right, 9 is, uh, let's see, 27 over 3. So 27 plus 2 is 29 over 3. All right, so therefore, we have a complete formula for f of x, which is equal to negative 1 third quantity 9 minus x squared 
raise it to the 3 halves power plus 29 over 3. All right, so uh, let's uh, type it in. All right, so we have negative one third uh, quantity uh, 9 minus x squared. Raise it to the 3 halves power. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of that. And plus 29 over 3. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this, uh, this was clear.